Hello and welcome to Mr. Thompson's Math Tutorials. Today what we're going to be looking at is factoring a number. So, factoring a number. So first of all, factors are numbers that multiply together to give you a number. So for instance, what are all of the, the numbers that multiply together to give me 12? So I'm going to start by doing a factor list. Um, so a factor list would look something like this. I think to myself, what are all of the numbers that multiply together to give me 12? Well, I would always start with 1 and 12. So 1 and 12 multiply together to give me 12. And I connect these in what I usually call the factor rainbow. So here we go. 1 times 12 is 12. Okay, next I think to myself, um, does 2, is 2 a factor of 12? So 2 times something, is that 12? Well, yes, it's actually 2 and 6. I, I want you to notice what I'm doing is I'm working towards the center here. This is a really important part of this process. So 2 times 6 is also 12, and I'm going to connect them with my rainbow. Here we go. There's the green part of my rainbow. Okay, can I divide or can I multiply 3 times a number to give me... 12. So let's see, 3 times times 4 is 12, okay? And I can see, again, there's, I keep erasing that, I'm sorry about that, okay? So here we go, I'll do a different color for this, this bit of the rainbow right here. So 3 times 4 is 12. So, and, and I want you to notice that what happened here is that I met myself in the middle. There's nothing between 3 and 4 except for decimals, so that's where I'm going to end. So these are all of the factors of 12. Now, one other thing to note is that all of these numbers will divide evenly into 12. 12 divided by 1 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. And 12 divided by 12 is 1. So that's another important property of a factor. A factor can divide e evenly into the number that you're actually asking about. So, you know, factors of 12 um, will divide into 12. Okay? So that's how you find the factors of 12. Well, let's look at another one. Let's look at uh, factors of 24. So I'm going to do the same sort of process. I'm going to start by writing 24. And I always start with 1 and the number. And again, I'm going to work towards the center. And I always start on the left-hand side and ask myself, OK, I, I always know that, that, that 1 times 24 is 24. That's easy. But can is 2 a factor of 24? So in other words, is 2 times a number equal to 24? Well, 24 is an even number, so I know that 2 is a factor. And 2 times 12 is 24. Is 3 a factor of 24? Well, a trick I can use is this. I can know if 3 is a factor of 24 by adding together the digits of 24. Okay, well, that equals 6. If I can divide this number by 3, it means that, that 3 is actually a factor of 24. So 3 is a factor. But 3 times what is 24? Well, 3 times 8. Okay, is 4 a factor of 24? Well, I think to myself, you know, since I know that factors divide evenly into whatever number I'm looking at, can 24 be divided by 4? And, and I'll get an even answer. And the answer is yes. And when I say even, I don't mean even in the sense of even and odd. I mean I'm not getting a decimal answer. Okay? So I'm sorry if I'm not being clear there. Um, and the other side of that rainbow would be 6. So once again with the rainbow, I'll do it in different colors. Here's, oh, lovely red, and then lovely green, and then lovely blue blue and then I've run out of colors so I'll go to black here we go okay it's my factor rainbow and all of these are factors and once again 24 divided by 1 24 divided by 1 is going to be 24 24 divided by 2 is going to be 12 24 divided by 3 is 8 24 divided by 4 is 6 24 divided by 6 is 4 24 divided by 8 is 3 uh, 24 divided by 12 is 2, and 24 divided by 24 is 1. Let's look at an even bigger one, 72. So all the factors of 72, again, I start with 1 and 72, okay, leaving myself lots of space. This is an even number, so I can divide it by 2. And what's the other side of that rainbow? Well, half 
when I when I think of dividing by two, it's taking half of something. Half of seventy is thirty-five, and half of two is one. So half of seventy-two would actually be thirty-six, not twenty-six. Thirty-six. Okay, can I divide this by three? Well, let's see. If I add seven plus two, I end up with nine. Can I divide that by three? Then I can divide this number by three. And what is seventy-two divided by three? Well. I, I, to get the other half of the rainbow, I need to do that. So what I would do is I think to myself, okay, 72 is the same as 60 plus 12. So if I divide this by 3, it's the same as dividing this by 3 and this by 3. Well, 60 divided by 3 is 20, and 12 divided by 3 is 4, so this would be 24. So the other, the other side of that rainbow would be 24. Okay, can I divide by 4? Uh, I'm not sure, so I'm going to do a little math on this and see if I can figure it out. So I know that 72 is the same thing as 40 plus 32. So let's divide both everything by 4 and see what I get. This would be 10 and this would be 8. So yes, 18. So 72 divided by, uh, by 4 is 18. So that tells me that the other side of the 4 here is 18. Okay, can I divide by 5? No, <laughs> fortunately. 5 cannot be, uh, this cannot be divided by 5 because it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. Can it be divided by 6 though? The answer is yes because I can divide it by 2 and 3. Now, uh, I'm going to use this one right here to see what 72 divided by 6 is. So I'm just going to divide this by 6, this by 6, and this by 6. So let's see. Um, 60 divided by 6 is 10, and 12 divided by 6 is 2, so this would be 12. So the other side of this rainbow is 12. Okay, can I divide this by 7? No. How about 8? Can I divide this by 8? So I am going to use this one right here to see if I can divide it by 8. Because I know that 40 is divisible by 8, and I know that 32 oh, it is divisible by 8. So 8 is a factor. So let's see, uh, 40 divided by 8 is 5, and 32 divided by 8 is 4. Oh, it's 9. There we go. And there's nothing uh, except for um, decimals between, between 8 and 9. And uh, this is getting pretty big to do rainbows on, but uh, you can just kind of see that there would be rainbows if we decided to. I'm going to run out of colors. still kind of pretty. Anyhow, there you go. That's how you find the factors of a number. Thank you for watching.